to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this news comes from Spain and it's about the most wanted woman in the UK that has been arrested after over a decade on the run. Sarah Paninsk, 47, was suspected of laundering a billion pound in mobile phone VAT fraud and she was arrested while she was walking her dog in a Santa Barbara village located between Barcelona and Valencia. She was arrested by the same unit that arrested Jerry Hutch several months ago and extradited him to Ireland. It was reported when she was originally wanted that she was a privately educated university graduate who was the only woman ever to be put on the most wanted list. And she's been wanted since 2013 over the massive fraud that involved up to 16 people. She was hiding in a small town in the province of Tarragona after she changed her address several times. Sarah was originally from Fulford near York and the Spanish police proceeded to arrest her in the town of Santa Barbara with the intention of extraditing her as soon as possible. Sarah was charged in relation to laundering the money so she would travel around the world to Spain, Andorra and also Dubai to take large amounts of money to be able to put it through legitimate businesses so that it was no longer illegal. In 2013, the main perpetrators of the plot were went on trial and were convicted and she was sentenced to eight years in her absence and she's been wanted ever since. Sarah had ties to Spain and the police believed that she'd gone there due to the fact that she thought she could lay low and also her education would mean that she would easily find work. The police first had an idea of where she was in 2015 when she went to visit her husband in a town near Barcelona. But she didn't take a lot of belongings with her and she was very hard to detect, they said, because she would go from one place to another and never ever settle down. They also noticed that she changed her appearance and she was trying to distance herself from her past in order to try to avoid detection. This meant that the police had to put her under surveillance in order to be able to find out where she was definitely staying and they located her finally in the apartment block. She was then taken to the Central Court and under the instruction of the National High Court, she has been remanded to prison to face the resolution of extradition. And the operation was carried out by the Justice Fugitive Team, the Central Operations Unit and the Judicial Police as well. And all of this was supported by the British HMRC. So if there's one thing that you can definitely be sure of is that the government will always come for money if they believe that you owe it. And in this case, it was so much money that, that I think they wanted to prove a point as well. And her being the only woman ever to be put on a Britain's Most Wanted is very interesting on its own. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I've got an exclusive interview with Palestine Action on the website and on the YouTube by tomorrow. Please don't forget to check that out as well and let me know what you think. Peace.